All right, do we see that? Hopefully we do. Hey, Thorin, what's going on? Uh, okay, settings. Do we need anything? Uh, I think we'll be good. Hey, Ben, what's going on? Uh, okay, input. I guess we can play with the mouse sensitivity after. Cool. Let me know if the sounds are too loud or anything like that, too, if ever. Just let me know. All right, here we go. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The light moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children uh, complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Pete Sherman um, himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Watching the Avengers? Oh, you are? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, thanks for asking. All right, let's get into it. That should be spoopy. That should be pretty spoopy. All right, we're loading in. All right. Um, talk to Farmer Pete Sherman. Okay, that's our that's our mission. I'm just gonna put the sensitivity a bit higher. Oh, that's better. Ooh, that game is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh, take a photo of that. Ooh. Nice. All right, so my God, this game is really beautiful. Sherman's house. Oh, classic cornfield. I see how it is. I see how it is. Let me put vertical sync on cause, uh, oh, whoa, what the fuck was that sound about? Hello? There was something in here. Um, okay. The door's open. That's always good. Um, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went, um, to tour for help. To town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Okay. The phone's not working. Interesting. Cute little family photo. Cute. This is locked. Okay. Who leaves the milk out? Come on, boys. Ooh, they are here. Mystery sky objects seen here in Arono. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the states for a long time. Why I've never, I never, why I never knew about this, bro? Have you been living under a rock? A lot of people claim to have seen these these things. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's a weird kitchen. Also, is it me or like these cabinets are super fucking high? <laughs> like, do you have to be a fucking giant to use this kitchen? Hello? This is a weirdly made, like, like you enter here and that's a weird house. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a small house. It's kind of cute. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Um, okay. Oh, 
Duggo! Cute pupper. I love puppers. We got more photos here. All right, I'm just exploring a little bit. This game is really gorgeous. Oh, we got a children room here. Megan. So I guess this is the little girl's room. Shout out to Megan. Uh, this is my daughter's room during the night. I heard a uh, strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed and the windows was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Oh, also, oh shit. Uh oh, Megan. Classic creepy children drawings. Mm -hmm. No, the dog, <laughs> don't kill the dog. Oh, come on, I can't handle that. I cannot play a game where a dog dies, are you kidding me? Ooh. Can we see what's up on here? I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. Let me put the volume just a tiny bit lower. Just like, you know, to chill a little. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Basically, they can be described in the following way. Um, large head disproportionate to the body. No hair, bottomless, black eyes, uh, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their uh, cars. And their ears, not cars. <laughs> uh, animals start uh, raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses when um, they come back to normal. They find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashback of terrible memories, but people remember terrifying experiences. These aliens establish control af over their mind, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body and incision, to be exact, during the pal during palpation. It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Ew. Okay. Well, that's no good. Ooh. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Ooh. From, my old, from when I was 15 years old. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on a river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me in the air. I froze as if... I heard a sound. I don't like it. Hello? Bro. I don't remember. Okay, so he's this okay, so he had this experience when he was a teenager. Uh
can't look. I don't want. I don't want to look. 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 Oh no. Oh my God, I am terrified right now, you guys. Oh my God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Dead animals. Holy fucking shit, dude. I am shaking. As a child, headache began to bother, bother me. They torture me this, to this day. Wait, this game is so fucking loud, dude. Wait. I need to, like, chill a little bit. Um, this game is so fucking loud. Okay, we'll have it chill a tiny bit. It's still fucking loud. How is it so loud? Like, sheesh. Okay, that's a little better. Still loud. <laughs> okay, well, okay. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. As a child, headache began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Okay, now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was when the migraine began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear or a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter. Uh, or implant because of this. I forgot everything. Definitely decided I would get it. I'm not crazy. Bro, the fuck. Little jar with a strange device? Oh. So that's the implant, I'm assuming. Should, should I leave? I'm leaving. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. That scared the tits out of me. Uh oh. Uh, um, okay, I'm leaving, bye. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I'm running. Bye, Felicia. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Open the fucking car. <laughs> How do I leave? Okay, we're- Bye! Oh no. Oh no. We're getting abducted, boys! <laughs> we're getting abducted! Cannot do this to me. <laughs> you cannot do that to me, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was it. Very short. I'm I'm happy we tried it though. I'm definitely I'm definitely putting on my wish list. Because like a full game of that. That's awesome. It's almost like um. Uh, I know it's not a multiplayer per se, but like, um, it kind of makes me feel almost like a phasmophobia thing, but like, alien.